Hi, I'm back with another mandala window hanger. Um, this time we use a, a steel ring, 10 inches in diameter. You can buy this in the craft shop and you can buy them bigger or smaller. That's up to you. I use uh, one skein of cotton yarn. Mine is from uh, by Claire Cotton. I use an F5 four millimeter crochet hook some scissors and a tapestry needle. Let's begin. We start with a chain and we chain 10. So make a slip knot and chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Close this with a slip stitch in the first chain. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. We now have a big circle. We move on to round one. Round one, start with a chain one and a single crochet in the circle. Single crochet. And I crochet over my tail so I don't have it. Um, have to weave them in. A single crochet, then chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet again in the circle. Work over your tail. Chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet in a circle. Repeat this six more times so chain three single crochet chain three single crochet six more and i meet you up i meet you back at the end of round one i'm at the end of round one i just need to close my round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet and then your round one is done you have eight little flower leaves, flower petals, I don't know how you call it. So round uh, two. We need to slip stitch in this first chain three space. So, okay, then chain two, one, two, and we make a Double crochet three together in this first little hole because we, uh, this is our starting chain. So this is our first double crochet yarn over, insert your hook in the chain three space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Leave these two on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook in the same space, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now I have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over. We move on to the next chain three space. So yarn over, insert your hook in the chain three space. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook again, the same space, yarn over, pull through two. Oh, three loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two. You now have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four. Okay, chain five again, one. Two, three, four, five. Yarn over. In the next chain three space, we make a double crochet three together. So yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, side check. Pull up a loop and yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on your hook. You need one more. So yarn over, pull through. 
pull through two, a yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook, and chain five. So chain five, double crochet three together. Repeat this all the way around, and I'll meet you back at the end of round two. I'm at the end of round two, and the last thing we need to do is close our round in the top of the double crochet three together from the beginning. So make a slip stitch in that, and then round two is done. And this is what it should look like. Round three. Round three, we need to move up from the top of the double. Uh, double crochet three together to the middle of the chain five space. So in the first three chains, we need to make a slip stitch. So in the first, in the second, and in the third chain. So now we are at the middle of the chain five space and that is our starting point we're going to single crochet in this chain five space then chain seven single crochet in the chain five space chain seven single crochet chain seven single crochet all the way around so we start with a with a chain one and a single crochet in this space chain seven two three four, five, six, seven, single crochet in the next chain five space. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochet in the next chain five space. Okay, this is your repeat for this round and I meet you back at the end of round three. I'm at the end of round three. I made my last chain seven and now I need to close my round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round. Okay, and this is your round three. For round four, we, uh, we slip stitch into the chain seven space and then chain three one two three this chain three counts as your first double crochet and we need to make ten more double crochet in this chain seven space so ten more this is two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, ten, and the last eleven. So 11 double crochet, single crochet in the next chain seven space, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the same chain seven space, chain five again, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet again in the same chain five of chain seven space. So you have two little loops in this chain seven space. Yarn over, we make 11 double crochet in the next chain seven space. That's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, 
eight. Nine, ten, and last one, eleven. Okay, single crochet in the next chain seven space, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the same space, chain five, one, two, three, four. Five single crochet in the same space. Okay, this is your a repeat for the whole round. So, two more 11 double crochet, single crochet, chain five, single crochet, chain five, single crochet, 11 double crochet, single crochet, chain five, and so on. And I meet you back at the end of round four. I'm at the end of round four. I need one single crochet in the same chain seven space as the other two single crochet and then close around with a slip stitch in the first double crochet or the chain three from the beginning. Okay, so this is your round four done. For round five, we make another slip stitch in the next double crochet. And in the third, we make a single crochet. So single crochet and then chain five, two, three, four, five. And single crochet in the one, two, three, four, five, sixth double crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And single crochet in the ninth, so six, seven, eight, nine, ninth double crochet. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Make a single crochet in the chain five space, single crochet. Chain five, one, two, oh, sorry, chain seven, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochet in the next chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And in the one, two, three, in the third, Double crochet, we make a single crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and in the sixth single crochet of double crochet, we make an let's try it again. In the sixth one, we make a single crochet again, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and a single crochet in the ninth double crochet of the 11 chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 and a double of a single crochet in the chain 5 space then chain 7 single crochet and chain 5 and so on so repeat this all the way around and i meet you back at the end of round 5 okay i'm at the end of round 5 I just made my last chain five and now I connect my end with my beginning with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. So this is what your work should look like. We move on to round six. Round six we slip stitch in the chains of the first chain five space that's one two and we need one more three so three slip stitches so your starting point is in the middle of that chain five space uh, chain one and a single crochet chain one single crochet in this same 
chain 5 space, then chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Then make a triple crochet in this single crochet. So yarn over twice, insert your hook in the single crochet, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Chain three, one, two, three. Make a single crochet in the next chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the next chain five space. And now we are um, at the chain seven space. And in this chain seven, we make 11 double crochet stitches again, just as in row four. So yarn over and make 11 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Make a single crochet in the next chain five space and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the next chain five space. Chain three. One, two, three. And make a triple crochet in the single crochet in the middle of this 11. So yarn over twice, insert in this single crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet in that chain five space. Then chain five again, single crochet, 11 double crochets in this chain seven space, single crochet in the chain five space, chain five, single crochet, chain three, triple crochet in this. Uh, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain five, single crochet, and then 11 double crochet stitches again. So I'll repeat this all the way around and I'll meet you back at the end of round six. I'm at the end of round six and I close my round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round. So for round seven, we slip stitch in this first chain three space and then chain three, two, three, and we make four more double crochet in this. This is our first, this count is our first double crochet, and we make four more in this chain three space. So that's two, three, oops. Three, four, and five. Make one double crochet on top of the triple crochet. And five double crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three, four, and five. Single crochet in this chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet in that one, two, three, in the third double crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the sixth, double crochet, chain five, one, 
two, three, four, five, single crochet in the ninth, double crochet, and chain five, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the chain five space, and now we repeat five double crochet in this chain three space, one double crochet on top of the triple crochet and five double crochet in the next chain three space. Then double crochet, oh uh, sorry, then a single crochet in the chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the third, chain five, single crochet in the sixth, chain five, single crochet in the ninth, chain five, single crochet in the chain five space. Then we double crochet again. So repeat this all the way around and I'll meet you back at the end of round seven. I'm at the end of round seven. I need to close my round with a slip stitch in the first chain three from this round. And then we need to go back to the middle of the chain five space. So therefore we turn our work and single of slip stitch one and in the chain two and in the chain the next chain three and now we turn our work back oh no I'm sorry we need one more slip stitch so we are in the middle of the chain five space and then turn your work back to the front and you are right in the middle of this chain uh, chain five space. Uh, chain one and make a single crochet in this chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the fourth double crochet this, this is one two three four single crochet in the fourth double crochet chain seven one two three four five six seven single crochet in the eighth in the eighth double crochet this, this is four five six seven eight in this one another single crochet chain five one two, three, four, five, single crochet in the chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the next chain five space. Now we chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochet in the next chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the next. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and now single crochet in the four, double crochet again. One, two, three, four. Make a single crochet. So repeat this all the way around. So we make chain uh, seven, single crochet in the eighth, double crochet, chain five, single crochet in the chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the chain five space, chain seven. So chain five, chain five, chain seven, chain five, chain five, chain seven. All the way around and I'll meet you back at the end of round eight. I'm at the end of round eight. I just need to close my round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. Well, okay, round nine. For round nine, we make three slip stitches in the first three chains. So we end up in the middle of this chain five space. So we can start our, um, our round from there. So three slip stitches in the first three chains chain one and a single crochet and then in this chain seven space 
we uh, make 13 double crochet and then a single crochet in the next chain 5 space. Chain 5, single crochet in the next chain 5 space and then in the chain 7 space we make 13 double crochet. Single crochet, chain 5, single crochet, 13 double crochet all the way around. So we make three slip stitches to the middle of this chain 5 space. That's one. Two. And three. Okay, chain one and a single crochet in this chain 5 space. Then 13 double crochet in the chain 7 space. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, and the last thirteen. So thirteen double crochet in this chain seven space, single crochet in the chain five space, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the next chain five space. And we have a chain seven space. Again, so 13 double crochet in this chain 7 space, single crochet, chain 5, single crochet, 13 double crochet. So repeat this all the way around and I'll meet you back. Okay, I'm at the end of round 9. I need a slip stitch. I need to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round. And then your round nine is done. For round ten we turn our work and make three slip stitches to the middle of this chain five space. So turn your work, make a slip stitch in the first chain, okay, okay, slip stitch and make another slip stitch in the next chain and a slip stitch in the third chain okay turn your work back to the front and we are in the middle of this chain five space so okay, we can start uh, from here you make a single crochet in the chain a chain one and a single crochet in this chain five space then a chain three we make a double crochet two together in the second double crochet chain three double crochet two together in the fourth chain three double double crochet two together in the sixth chain three and so on all the way to the twelfth double crochet then chain three single crochet in this chain five space chain three and repeat in this fan so we start with a chain one and a single crochet in this chain five space then chain uh, three one two three yarn over and we skip the first double crochet and we move on to the second in the second double crochet we make two double crochet together so yarn over insert your hook and pull through two leave this Two loops, these two loops on your hook, yarn over again, insert in the same double crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook, chain three, skip a double crochet, and in the fourth double crochet, we make a double crochet, two together again, so yarn over and pull through two. Two loops on your hook, yarn over again, insert in the same double crochet, 
yarn over pull through two, three loops on your hook, yarn over pull through all three loops, chain three, one, two, three, move on to the sixth double crochet, so skip one, go to the next, insert your hook, and yarn over pull through two, leave those two loops on your hook, yarn over again, insert in the same double crochet, yarn over pull through two, three loops on your hook, and pull through all three loops, chain three, one, two, three, again, skip one double crochet, and in the next we make double crochet two together, so yarn over again, insert in the same, yarn over pull through two, three loops on your hook, yarn over pull through all three, chain three, again in the next, skip one double crochet, and in the next double crochet, we make a Double crochet two together, insert your hook, yarn up, of pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert in the same double crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three, chain three. Again, skip one, and in the next, we make a double crochet two together. and pull through all three loops on your hook. So chain three, one, two, three, and in this chain five space we make a single crochet, then chain three again, and repeat this process. So this is your round 10, repeat this all the way around, and I'll meet you back when we are at the end of this round. So I just finished my row with my uh, round 10 and I made a slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round. Round 11 we chain one and in this first chain three space we make three single crochet. So that's one, two, three, then we chain three, one, two, three, and we make a slip stitch in the first chain. So we create a little bump, a little circle. And then uh, chain one, and three single crochet in the next chain three space, one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, make a slip stitch in the first chain, to create a little circle again, chain one, and three single crochet in the next chain three space, one, two, three, Chain three, one, two, three, close with a slip stitch in the first chain, chain one, three single crochet in the next chain three space, two, three. So repeat this all the way around and I'll meet you back at the end of round 11. Round 11 is your last round for this um, for this project. So um, at the end of this round we um, attach it to the ring. I'm at the end of round um, 11 and I need to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet to close my round 11. So. This is your finished mandala and it's time to attach it in the ring. Your work should be a little bit smaller than the ring because when we attach it, it stretches out a little and then it's nice and, uh, and tight. Um, we attach it at the two top uh, 
yeah, bubbles of each fan. So these two and these two and all the way around. Therefore you buy enough and weave in your end. Okay, I cut my yarn and then I weave that in later. Okay, so my yarn, we attach this to the ring. So therefore make a slip knot on your hook and place it over your ring. Slide under with your hook, grab the yarn and yarn over, pull through both loops. Okay, do that again. So, go under, grab your yarn, come back up and yarn over, pull through two. Try to do this very tight. Come under the ring, grab your yarn, come up again, yarn over and pull through two. So, under, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, to attach your, um, your mandala, you pick the third bubble. So this is your first in the fan, your first, your second, this is your third one. So we want to attach this to the ring. And how do we do that? By just, oops. By just go under, through the hole of the bubble, under the ring, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And now your circle and bubble is attached. Okay, we make normal single crochets around the around the ring until we reach the other bubble next to this one we attached. So make single crochets until you reach this side of the bubble, this side. And then it, we attach that. Okay. Two more, I guess. You need to eyeball this a little bit to find the right time to attach your other other bubble and I think this in this case the time is now so insert in your bubble under your ring pull up your yarn and pull through two and go on making normal single crochets around the ring until you reach the next fan and then the third and the fourth so we attach that to the ring and then move on making normal single crochets until you reach the next fan and attach the fourth and uh, the third and the fourth bubble to the ring you do this all the way around and i'll meet you back when you are at the end of this circle and then i show you how to make a loop and then we're done. So I'm done 
attaching the mandala to the ring and wrapping up the ring with single crochets. So I close this with a slip stitch in this first single crochet. Now it's time to make a, um, a loop so you can hang it on your wall, in front of your window. That's up to you. You can choose the place you put this. So how do we do this? We chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Then move over to the other side of these two bubbles about the same spacing as this side, so it's about here, and then attach with a slip stitch in that single crochet. And that's it, you're all done. You can bind off, weave in your ends, and your mandala is done. So, this is your finished mandala window hanger wall hanger. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you are the first to know when I upload a new video. Check out my other videos for even more fun crochet patterns and um, especially my other mandala window hanger. I made two. And I can pair them up so I hang this one in the window next to my other one um, for the written pattern go to my blog uh, the link to that is in the description box down below yeah enjoy see you next time thanks for watching bye